Whipmix, in collaboration with the Massad Center for Higher Learning, presents the ASIGA design and print process instructions for use. Open up the ASIGA Composer software on the computer. If this is the first print of this denture, select New. If working off an older design, select Open. This demonstration has the teeth and bases separated into different print designs. The first print will be the basis. Select New to start the new job. Next, select the printer that will be used for this print. Now pick the material to use for the print. For the basis print, select Denka Denture Base version 2.3. The next drop-down menu will be the selection of the slice thickness desired for the print. The thinner the layer selected, the more high quality the print will be, but also will take more time to print. Bases can be printed anywhere from 100 micron layers to 10 micron layers. For most base prints, 100 micron layers is the best option. It allows for a great finish to the denture in a shorter amount of time. Select OK to open up the build plate envelope. This is where the STL files will be imported to. There are several ways to view the build envelope. To move envelope around, press right, click and hold while moving the mouse. The scroll wheel on the mouse controls zoom in and out of the envelope. To man envelope to move to different section of the screen, left click the mouse and hold while you move the build envelope to its desired location. There are also view options located on the toolbar along the top of the screen. Here you can select to view the top or the bottom or the build. This button will show the front and rear of the build and this button shows the left and right side of the build. There are two ways to import the STL files into the build. Select the add parts button on the toolbar on the top or right-click on the screen and select Add Parts. From the Add Parts window, press the Select Files button, locate the denture basis files on the computer, and select Open. More than one file can be selected at a time. Once all files have been selected, hit Open again to add the files to the build. The files will appear in their default positions in the build envelope once they are opened, which is horizontal along the bottom plane. The bases print best in the vertical position because it reduces the number of supports necessary on the denture. If the design on the screen appears in pink, that means some aspect of the design is outside of the print envelope. If the design on the screen is gold, that means the design is within the print envelope boundaries. Now view the dentures in the front view position to maneuver the design into proper placement. Next, left click on the design that will be rotated which in this example is the lower denture base. Now right-click on the base and continue to hold as you move the mouse to orientate the denture base. To level out the upper denture plate, view the print envelope from the right side, then left-click on the design. Now right-click and hold as you maneuver the design into proper placement. Notice the design turns pink when it is moved outside of the print envelope. Now view the print envelope from the top point of view to nest the designs how you would like within the horizontal space of the build envelope. Both denture designs are still purple, so use the different views to discover which part of the design is outside of the build envelope. These designs have breached the lower wall of the build envelope so left-click and hold on the design and place it within the boundaries of the build envelope. When the design is within the limits, it will turn gold. Now inspect from all sides to ensure the proper placement of the denture base design. The next step is to add supports to the denture base designs. In the upper toolbar, select the Generate Support option. The settings for this build are the same as the default settings in the program, so just press Apply. For most projects, the default support generation placement will work well. It will locate all the overhangs that need to be captured to print this build properly. Sometimes the automatically generated supports can interfere with where the tooth placement will be. To avoid this, the supports can be deleted. In the Generate Support pop-up menu, click on the Remove button. Now simply click on the supports in the build window that need to be deleted. To add supports, click on the Add button in the Generate Support pop-up menu and click where the support should be added on the build. 
Adding extra supports on the denture base where the denture meets the build plate can add extra strength so the denture does not move or shift during the printing process. When satisfied with the amount of supports placed, close the Generate Supports menu. Do one final inspection before sending the denture build to the printer. When satisfied with the result, press the Build option from the icons at the top of the screen. It is the green circle button with a triangle inside. This will now open the Build Wizard. All build properties can be viewed in this window. A warning will appear if a print job is sent to the printer with portions outside the build box. The piece will still print if sent to the printer, cutting off everything outside of the perimeters. From here, select Next. The next step is to add a base plate to the print. The default base plate thickness is 0.4 mm and shadow is the type of base plate to use. Fast print mode is an option available for the Asiga printer. It is not mandatory, but will provide a solid print in the shortest amount of time. After choosing the settings, press the Next button. The Advanced Parameters window will open, allowing the user to make changes to any aspect of the print. The numbers highlighted in yellow indicate that fast print mode is activated. These settings will normally never have to be changed. After selecting Next again, a summary page of the print will appear. On this page, the print job can be named. The default name will be the time and date of the print. The name can be changed to the user's preference. This page also has the option to export the part map, which is a PDF document that can be saved summarizing the current print job. Finally, click Send Build. The computer will now take the three-dimensional images and create them into slices or layers and then these layers are submitted to the printer. When the build is submitted to the printer, the slices or layers of the build can now be viewed. In the build preview, the progress arrow along the bottom of the window can be moved to see how exactly the layers will be built in the printer. The slide on the right side allows you to zoom in and out of the print preview. The printer will now complete the print process. After the printing process has completed, carefully lift the lid from the Asiga printer and remove the build plate with the printed object still attached. Use a clean cloth or towel to keep any resin from dripping in the lab. Next, use the metal spatula that came with the printer to remove the objects from the build plate. The prints will now go into two baths of isopropyl alcohol, a dirty bath and a clean bath. The first, the dirty bath, is used to remove the majority of the bulk alcohol from the prints. Close the lid to the bath and place it into the ultrasonic cleaner and run for 5 minutes. When the first bath is complete, remove the ultrasonic cleaner, take the prints from the dirty bath and place them into the clean bath. Seal the bath, place it into the ultrasonic cleaner and run for another 5 minutes. Once the denture print has been run through both bath cycles, the next step is to remove the supports from the printed denture base. Be careful to not damage the denture base when removing the supports. Next, use a high-speed hand piece with a Scotch-Brite wheel on low RPMs to smooth out what remains of the supports on the denture base. The next step is to print the denture teeth. To print teeth, start a new build by selecting the New Build option in the top options line. This will open the New Build window. To change the material for the tooth print, click on the drop-down menu and select the denture tooth material. The slice thickness must be at least 50 microns, which can be changed in the slice thickness drop-down menu. Then press OK. A new build project will now open. Click Add Parts from the menu bar in the upper left corner. Next, Click on Select File and then find and select the teeth scan file. If files are separated as maxillary and mandibular teeth, they can be opened at the same time. Now press Open and then Open again. 
The teeth scans will now be imported into the print software. For printing teeth, always have the occlusal surface pointing towards the build plate. This avoids having to cut supports off the occlusal surface of the printed teeth. Maneuver the teeth so they are aligned correctly. Left click on the teeth and hold to move the set around the build area. To select another set to move, left click on it. Then right click and hold to reverse the orientation of the teeth so the occlusal surface is facing the build plate. When finished with the arrangement, click on the generate supports and click apply to generate the supports needed to build the teeth. Move the point of view of the print window to see the supports generated on the teeth. To add supports, click on the Add button and select where you want to generate a support. To delete, click the Remove button, then select the supports you want to delete. Next, select Close, and if satisfied with the placement, select the Build Wizard. Select Next, and in the Parameters window, change the type from Shadow to Bounding Box. Then select Next. Select Next again, and in the summary, the build can be named. Click Send Build, and the design will be sent to the printer. When the build is submitted to the printer, the slices or layers of the build can now be viewed. In the Build Preview, the process arrow along the bottom of the window can be moved to see how exactly the layers will be built in the printer. The slide on the right side allows you to zoom in and out of the print preview. The printer will now complete the print process. After going through the design process for the teeth, remove the liquid resin from the printer that was used to make the denture base and place the tooth material into the Asiga printer and begin printing the denture teeth. Carefully lift the lid from the Asiga printer and remove the build plate with the printed object still attached. Next, use the metal spatula that came with the printer to remove the objects from the build plate. The prints will now go into two baths of isopropyl alcohol, a dirty bath and a clean bath. The first, the dirty bath, is used to remove the majority of the bulk alcohol from the prints. Close the lid to the bath and place it into the ultrasonic cleaner and run for 5 minutes. When the first bath is complete, remove the ultrasonic cleaner, take the prints from the dirty bath and place them into the clean bath. Seal the bath, place it into the ultrasonic cleaner and run for another 5 minutes. The next step is to place the printed teeth into the printed denture base. First, add liquid resin to sockets of the teeth in the denture base. This will secure the teeth into the denture base when cured. Next, take the now clean printed teeth with support still attached into the sockets of the denture base. If the design and print are done correctly, the teeth should fit smoothly into the teeth sockets of the denture base. Using a fine brush, now carefully fill in the necessary spaces between the teeth and the denture base with the liquid resin. When complete, place the denture into the curing unit for 30 seconds. This will solidify the denture base and teeth together. When the curing process is complete, remove the supports from the printed teeth, using a Scotch-Brite wheel to smooth out what remains of the supports on the teeth. When finished combining the teeth and denture base, place into a glycerine bath. The glycerine must be at a temperature of 60 degrees Celsius, 140 degrees Fahrenheit. Place the glycerine bath into the curing unit and cure for 10 minutes or 600 seconds. Now open the curing unit and carefully flip the dentures inside the bath. Again, run the curing unit for 10 minutes. When the second curing stage is complete, the denture is ready for polish and delivery. To print a denture try-in, start a new build by selecting the New Build option in the top options line. This will open the new build window. To change the material for the tooth print, click on the drop-down menu and select the try-in material. The slice thickness must be at least 100 microns, which can be changed in the slice thickness drop-down menu. Then press OK. A new build project will now open. Denture try-in. Click Add Parts from the menu bar in the upper left corner. Next, click on Select File 
and then find and select the try-in file. Now press open and then open again. The try-in will now be imported into the print software. The bases print best in the vertical position because it reduces the number of supports necessary on the denture. If the design on the screen appears in pink, that means some aspect of the design is outside of the print envelope. If the try-in is out of the print envelope when the add supports is selected, the program will automatically place the try-in within the envelope parameters before adding the denture supports. Next, select the build wizard. Select Next and in the Parameters window, change the type from Shadow to Bounding Box. Then select Next. Select Next again and in the summary, the build can be named. Click Send Build and the design will be sent to the printer. When the build is submitted to the printer, the slices or layers of the build can now be viewed. In the Build Preview, the process arrow along the bottom of the window can be moved to see how exactly the layers will be built in the printer. The slide on the right side allows you to zoom in and out of the printer preview. The printer will now complete the print process.